Or no, we don't have Moonblast on that thing. We have Ice Beam and Dragon Pulse. I'm just dumb. Do we want to go into Rose instead? Potentially? Or do I just want to get rid of that Cradilly? I kind of just want to get rid of Cradilly. Because the Meteor Beam is a problem. Disarming voice. Dragon Tail could be interesting, but I'm good for now. Can we potentially learn any fairy type moves? That's not where we learn moves through TMs. That's through here. Oh, let me also take a look at like Brave Bird. Mandibos can learn Brave Bird for what it's worth. How about Flare Blitz? Yeah, okay. I think it learns Draining Kiss. Oh, we could. We just got Draining Kiss. No, it doesn't get Draining Kiss. Hypnosis? That could be interesting. Iron Head? Psych Up? Rain Dance? Best Return? Sleep Talk? Sub, surf, which could technically be an interesting shout. Water pulse, weather ball. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can try. We can try Noah up front. Um, in terms of what it's going to be facing, it's probably going to be facing at least special. Why is this our investment? Why are we not invested in one? And then do like that. And then hopefully we can survive whatever. Unless Cradilly's got a physical move coming for us, but it was using Meteor Beam the entire time. Like, oh, um, I forgot Mandibles could also be technically, like, interesting for Cradilly with, like, a potential knockoff. It could be interesting. Um, do I want that? The knockoff switch into, like, at Noah could potentially be interesting. Actually, let's let's try that. Let's try that. Um, can we go to the familiar house? Wait. Okay, we're back here now. Okay. Okay, so the knockoff Cradilly, hopefully we don't get. So then we switch, we know the Meteor Beam's going into Milotic. We'll switch. Close combat, damn, rip. Okay. So then let's Hydro Pump to take care of the Cradilly, hopefully. Goodbye, Ambi Bomb. No, it had Storm Drain! Oh, where's Elliot when you need him? I'm so dumb. We literally had a whole. We oh my god, I'm so dumb. We literally had a Rain Dance team with Cradilly at one point that used Cradilly and then Surf with Storm Storm Drain. I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. Let's go Ice Beam. Oopsie. Yeah, well, we probably lost this battle now. Okay, well. Well. Um, I guess I will go into you. And then we can use Heavy Slam into Cradilly, hopefully. Oh my god. Um, okay. I'm going to Moonblast into the Kingdra, and please tell me that this Cradilly gets taken care of. 
It's not getting taken care of. It's not getting taken care of. We should out outspeed Diancy still, so we should be fine. We use Dazzling Gleam. Oh, you used a full restore and trick room. No. This thing has trick room tailwind isn't even gonna be useful. Can I get a wish off? No. I mean, we're fucked, aren't we? Aren't we? At this point, we are. I suppose I could toxic. Ray Dilly. Even yeah. We just lose if they if they literally if they get fucking trick room up we lose. Well Okay. Um so the knockoff is useful. It is useful. It's just... Not... The most useful. But we can't... So our counter to Dilly is no longer... It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. At all. So... Where's Elliot when you need him? He would be so happy that Cradilly is finally getting its shine. Because it is an uh, underrated Pokemon. You really like it or something? It just doesn't get a lot of love in it. And competitively, it's it's actually decent if you put it in the right, in the right conditions. Fair enough. Um, so fighting bugs, steel, and ice. So Ice Beam would work. Ice Beam would work. Do we have... We do have a Never Melt Ice, though I think the leftovers on Milotic are better. Um... Okay. Um, let's... The game. I need some sort of counter to Trick Room. That's the problem. If they get Trick Room up, we're just kind of fucked. Like I can divest from all from all speed as much as I can, but like how how much is that gonna work? I'm not sure. So um, I think the battle can definitely go better if we don't hit Storm Drain, potentially. So we're going to go with Knock Off into the Cradilly. Um, and then let me, I'm just going to have Marigold take whatever's coming for it. And the Snarl's big, actually, for the Cradilly. And it missed. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I mean, this is kind of where I just like... Can I toxic the Mien Shao, potentially? And Cradily flinched, okay. We are close to June 30th, that means jam. Yeah, we are very close to June 30th. You are right. Um, do we Tailwind here, potentially? The, if we Tailwind and then they set up Trick Room, we're just fucked, no matter what. So, I'm inclined to not Trick Room. Okay, they used the full Restore on Cradilly. Rocks. Dude, this thing is so... Fucking bulky. It's actually crazy. 
it missed Cray Dilly, which is unfortunate. Heat Wave takes out the Miensha, that's nice. Sludge Bomb. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna switch into Noah now because I think we're at a good spot. For a fuck storm drain, dude. We got oh, we get the okay. Okay, so let's go ahead, Ice Beam, Cray Dilly. That does a decent amount. Oh, let's go. Okay. 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 This this is doable, I think. This is the run that's doable, I think. So this Archaladon is a fucking problem, dude. What is even super effective against Archaladon? Like... It is... It is weak to fighting and ground. That's it. Um, so, I mean, I can Dragon Pulse the Kingdra, I suppose. Thunder into my Lodic. And the Rain Dance gets set up here. Well, I don't think we're outspeeding anymore. Yeah, Dragon Pulse. Whatever. Okay. And her Tailwind is out. Okay. Um... We need to take care of the Kingdra. We need to take care of the Kingdra. Do we think Rocky Road outspeeds? It's 276. Does Kingdra get Swift Swim? Is that why it set up the rain? I think it does. It does get Swift Swim. Fuck! Yeah, there's no way we're outspeeding it then. Um, What's it at? Because I want to set up Truffles. Like, we could Ice Shard and probably take out... It's also for Arches Thunder if it has Electro Shot too. Okay, we're going to try something. If we can take out the Kingdra... Okay, good. But now... Okay, we're not... Okay, so we have to switch here. Deancey comes out. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna sack Marigold here, I think. Oh, it's gonna set up the Trick Room, isn't it, this turn? It, Bouclier is supposed to be a Knocked Owl. We can try heavy slam into the Diancie. If we can live. Okay, wait, wait, we outsped one of them? Okay, I mean, we take that actually. Um, What typing? Normal steel. If it wasn't a normal type, it'd actually be crazy. Um, I'm gonna go into Rocky Road here. And there are still two Pokemon left, I believe, but one of them is. They're both on the same, like, party. So I'm gonna go Sarsaparilla, Truffles. Because I think Truffles is our key to take out. Like, Rocky Road's gonna die here. It's just how it is. Oh, this isn't great. We should still be able to survive a Flash Cannon. Let's see how much damage EQ does. Oh, wait, we outspeed? That's actually big. And we get it down to Ice Shard range. We should out... Okay. Okay, so, so no matter what, we outspeed. Okay. Who's the last Pokemon? If it's the Volcanion, we probably just lose still. Oh, wait, that was it? Oh, let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! We figured it out ourselves! No grinding, no counter team... Well... No, not really. We just had our boss Pokemon come in clutch. Get fucked, bruh. Hey, mysterious lady, can you give us some material to help us think up a witty comeback? No. How many times will I have to fight you? What are you on about? Only Lustrous has battled you before. I think. Uh, alright. That wasn't real. 
Wow, he's going crazier than we are. You turn in senile, old man? Maybe the Lafayettes will stick him in a retirement home. Here's hoping. Ambush. Why is it always an ambush? Ooh. Why? Stop muttering to yourself. We've still got other places to look at. Uh, no, we don't? Ah, Mr. Lafayette, you're back. Were any of the new locations to your liking? Still nothing. No worries. Mr. Roosevelt selected two more places for you to consider. Ugh. Note to self. Don't attempt to be nice to Lafayette again. What's he doing? Hey! Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't actually us. I'm calling it right now. This isn't actually us. Lafayette, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be... Ah, pardon me. Madame Lafayette. Louis, I'm surprised you're still in the land of the living. The feeling's mutual? I mistook you for a different Lafayette. The detective one. And here I thought it was lose. I was losing it. It's me, Rosewell. The bandage goes on the right side, moron. <sighs> I was just taking him to task for slipping up on that detail. Let me guess. You want him to say or do something incriminating while pretending to be the real Sylvester. No need to give me the silent treatment. The kid, Mordecai, heard your discussion with Lucille. You might want to act fast before he can warn Sylvester. He's too much of a liability. I agree. I was under the impression that you were the one who first recruited Sylvester. Times change. I'd rather control the clueless heir to a multi-billion empire than a dime a dozen Lafayette no matter how sharp he used to be. He hasn't been back a week, and I've already been receiving complaints from the Leonardos about him investigating properties that belong to them. <laughs> I wonder why that could be. On top of that, I get a warning from a doctor stating he hasn't been resting like he should be, a report of him pushing another man down a flight of stairs, I just, I just don't know what Sylvester is thinking anymore. And I can't allow a risk like that to go unchecked. It's just ordinary stuff. Don't sound so disappointed. Your family keeps piles of jewelry and gold bars at the bank. I'm not disappointed. I'm relieved. Knowing my family, they could have locked someone in here to rot, or stashed some nasty weapons. Now, let's get to inventorying everything. I'll tell you a bit about your family. Well, this is, I think, where we're getting... Hey, everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Caterade 5 and I am back for, <laughs> again, what could be the final stream of Pokemon Ash and Frost. We don't know. We will, it is yet to be seen. It is yet to be seen. But let's take a look at the team that we are currently rocking with as yeah, Mordecai. You can't hmm? clearly went all out with this final case. Final yes. for now, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, the previous demo was at the end of case 19, and the end of case 19 was Luci Luciano getting killed, right? So. Oh, yeah. So, I can only imagine what the ending of this case could be. Especially considering this case is called The End of the Line. That also had blood spatter in the, the intro of the, wow. the case. So, we'll see. We will see. Anyways, this is Mordecai's team. We are currently in Mordecai's, like, um like families like safe or something like that first up, we have quartz our excadrill level 60 holding the metal cup with sword stance iron head eq and rock slide we have rudy our level 60 slow king holding the twisted spear 
<sighs> With Surf, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Amnesia, we have Amogus, our Amoongus level 60, holding the leftovers. With Spore, Rage Powder, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb. We have Jimbro, our level 60 Conkeldur, holding the Expert Belt. With Poison Jab, Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Hammer Arm. We have Firo, our Zapdos, holding the Voltaic Orb, which is the new orb, new item that we got uh, at the... Or, not at the end, but actually more in the beginning of last stream. Um, what this does is it turns all recoil damage into heal uh into like heal so that's why we have three recoil moves we have volt tackle flare blitz brave bird and then we also have weather ball because whenever we face a lafayette or leonardo in this game we'll probably be triggering some sort of special condition anyways next up we have dyson our level 60 rotom heat holding the rocky ah. helmet i forgot it was named dyson yeah a discharge thunder wave overheat and hex and honestly now that i look at the team uh it could be considered to change this back to rotom wash or we could go you know rotom fan rotom grass we could go we could also go rotom freeze um, really depending on on whatever boss we're probably gonna end up against i'm here for the finale oh kenny do you know it's the finale i don't know if it's gonna be the finale or not i just have a feeling it's going to be just mm -hmm. a guess. Just a guess. It'd be really funny if you had ended the last stream like 15 minutes before the end of the game or something. I mean, it would not. I would not have been surprised. We're still at the point where we still have yet to hit the final boss battle of this demo. Because I guarantee you there has to be some sort of boss. Unless, unless the lustrous adamant thing was the 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 boss battle for us even though it's probably just the boss battle for sylvester anyways let's speak to arturo ah oh, look these suits are really outdated i think i don't know much about fashion yes well they were all the rage 20 years ago your brother marcellus drove your parents crazy buying into whatever the latest trend was maya just encouraged it I'll bet that's where Cordelia's brother gets it from, too. Right. Sammy. Can we just walk away? We have a, a sword, a nose pass statue, and the suits. These. See these candle holders? They were placed at the head table for your parents' wedding. Maybe it's a silly question, but did my parents, uh, like each other? Marcelina was the only person your father feared. I suppose the public doesn't have many memories about the crazy things she'd get up to. There was this wild air to her. Something very chaotic. She could make a life raft out of anchors, but couldn't butter toast without setting the house on fire. What? I'm serious. One time she ran the yacht into an iceberg despite it being moored at port. It sunk, but she managed to... <laughs> Arturo didn't answer my actual question. That's true. I can only assume that they liked each other, though, because... It seems more of a business agreement between Lucille and Leo, but the other two seem to make sense. Did you know you were your parents' favorite child? Ah. Uh, I was? Oh yes, you were a bit of a surprise to them. To all of us, really. But they absolutely doted on you. What you mean by that? What, what, what you mean by that? Why is my chill with this fucking lighting? My god. Why am I fucking in heaven right now? Excuse me? Bro, I swear. There it is. That's better. Okay, jeez. I guess that makes sense. The surprise part. Modesto looked my age when he was... Uh, looked like he was my age when... Well... I would have been the youngest by a long shot is all. 
So, so my assumption is correct. His parents loved, they, they loved each other. That you could, you could argue they loved each other a little too much. It's just my guess. Correct. Marcellus was 12, Maya was 16, and Modesto was 18, going on 19. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Your father would let you sit in his office and hit all the keys on the typewriter. Although your mother wasn't happy about losing her good stationery to your word salad. Arturo. Yakai? Why are we really here? Well, back is Sylvester. And Roosevelt told me there was supposed to be some sort of home inside this cave. Not that the home was a cave. Want to just call this one a loss? Let's. Um, I think Arena Trap has been activated. <sighs> well, here we are. Back in the Doug Trio den. Back in the Doug. We were never in the Doug Trio den before. Oh, that's right. We still have the boss team up. Dude, I'm so proud of how we were able to beat Lustrous and Adamant last time out. It can never be easy, can it? Why, oh why can my tasks never be basic? Uh, nice um, indoor ice pit? Really impressive renovations. You and Mrs. Dugtrio must have owned this place for a long time, judging by the age of those crystals that have grown on the wall. I love this is like a little like Dugtrio couple. This is actually so cute. Well, of course you would like this place. Come on, Truffles, be practical. I can't put 16 kids here. I'm pretty sure someone would call the police on me. Actually, because they're legally classified as Pokemon trainers, you don't have to... Not helping, Ramira! Sheesh, and here I thought I was going to miss the lack of snarky comments from Eloise. Now I'm stuck with her slightly more depressed clothes. Wow. I mean, wow. fair. She definitely seems a little down in the dumps. No, we're not buying you a cave. Wait. With the kids having the swine up, pile of swine, and mammal swine I've acquired, maybe buying this cave is a good investment. No, what am I thinking? I'm not asking Mordecai to buy me a cave. What else have we missed? I like your uh, ice box? Alright, I've poked around enough. No more with this farce. Thank you for uh, allowing us to consider your property. We need to regroup to review our options, but we'll be in touch if we pick here. Kia! Not so fast, villain. We're not really selling this cave. It was all a trick to lure those who didn't have their guard down in. Now we duel. Bruh. Do you, would, do you think... Do, do you actually think this is going to be... We have a level 100 Lotad, and you are both using Dig, and I have Earthquake. Goodbye. I dare you both to use Dig again. Fissure? Even worse, we're both higher level. What? Where are your parents, and how did you trick them into listing this place as for sale? My mom's a receptionist at the real estate office. <laughs> so, um, Arturo, why are we really here? What do you mean? I know you don't care about my family's old junk. I know you don't care about me. What makes you say that? 
Where were you for the past 19 years of my life, huh? It's not as if I knew you were alive. It's not like you ever bothered to find out. You don't understand how dangerous it was to live in Riverview back then. Why would I want to come back to a place where... Where... Just... Be honest. Say it was the money. It... Figures. We can still talk this out. Move. Firo. I knew we were gonna end up battling Arturo. I fucking knew it. That was the most fucking predictable ass shit I've ever seen. This guy has level- oh, I guess we only have level 60s. Okay, well. Uh, this is an absolutely horrendous lead for us. Absolutely horrendous. Um... I'm going to switch Quartz into you, and then I'm going to use Psychic into the Tauros. Light screen? Ah, oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That doesn't even kill. Okay, well, I will... We're going to confirm a kill on this Tauros, and I'm going to Rage Power, and then we'll Psychic the Tauros. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a good idea. Torkoal. Okay. Um. So then we're gonna switch into... Quartz. And then Rudy will switch into... to Dyson. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What? Bruh. This will brave bird the Torkoal. Discharge, I suppose. Oh, this thing has a lightning rod. Oh, my God. You have one apple cider. Okay, I'm definitely not using it on this one. Let's double into the Torkoal see if can... Okay, well, we took out the Torkoal somehow. Light screen is off. away. That's good. Shift tree. Okay. Um. Again, we'll just try and take care of the shift tree. He's overheat as well. Unfortunately, Jimbro had to get taken out. Oh, is that a focus sash? Okay. Um. Let's go into you. Let's spore the metric. And. Use the hex on the shift tree, I suppose. And we were burned? Oh, you've got to be hitting me. Oh, and that's right, this dude has Galarian Zapdos. 
Yeah, that's a good thing. We do not decide to heal. Galarian Zapdos is fighting and flying type. Hmm. Hmm. Has... Oh my god. Light screen 2 is wild. That doesn't even kill. Wait a second. Oh, he has another Pokemon? Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's just kind of it. Oh my god. Okay, so first up, that was probably the worst lead in the history of leads. Firo is definitely set up to be a late game sweeper. So yeah, you two lead. Um, does the fire type work? It does. Though, what doesn't work is the is discharge. Do we have a different? Oh, we could. Oh, we could learn wizard again. Sub could be theoretically interesting. Um, I will keep discharge. I should go through this whole thing again. Okay. The Intimidate. Oh, that's right. We definitely need Brick Break. Um, okay. I think, yeah, we Rage Powder and then we Psychic the Tauros. Oh, that did nothing. The Giga Drain. And we switch into quartz. No, the flinch. Yeah, I'm gonna Rage Powder EQ. Yeah, yeah, that was a good idea. Oh, you have the Ground Berry? Fuck you! <laughs> okay, so Torkoal is most likely coming in next. I'm gonna go into Dice. Um, Since you're in a battle, I might as well talk about this. Yeah. Uh, so, I hate to admit it, Epic has given me a reason to get back into Fortnite. <laughs> they dropped a new permanent game mode today, and it has fixed every single problem that I've had issues with for the past couple years. They brought back classic. They brought back classic weapons, classic locations, classic everything, and got rid of all the new BS. Oh, 
the game feels like Fortnite again. That's not, good. Not whatever weird tactical crap they're going for now. Did you know they added bullet ballistics and weapon mods? That's horrible. Yeah, that that's that's weird. That like that's, that sounds more like, like Warzone type shit. Or Apex. Yeah. Slowly and surely it's becoming more like Apex. First with mantling and sprinting, then with then with this. Actually first it was pinging. Also, the new mode has literally four times more players than the actual battle royale. Right that's holy. That okay. That's funny. That is hilarious. That's called reload. One of the gimmicks is it's only forty players. And uh, it's squads only. And when you get downed, if you if if one person is left on your team after 30 seconds, you get respawned in automatically. Okay. Um. Classic. Okay. Right, I I'm think done. we can still do this. Sorry, I'm just very focused. No, I get you. Um. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Baby, baby Tactical okay. is what Epic thinks everyone wants. There are currently more players in Zero Build than there are in Battle Royale. Let's fucking go. We did it. No, I'm not looking forward to what happens at the end of this. Stun him. I'm done with this for now. Yeah! What? No, Mordecai! No! No, why would you do that? Mordecai, no! Why? Why would you do that? I know you have your differences from Arturo, but you just put yourself on a fast track to getting murdered. <laughs> no. Oops.